With the onset of summer, those air conditioning problems that have been ignored now become a priority. Many things can prevent a VE Commodore from delivering the desired heating or cooling. However, one of the more common issues are actuators within the heating, ventilation and air conditioning unit under the dashboard. The VE HVAC system uses many electric motors with built-in position sensors called actuators. These actuators are used to move the various flaps and doors within the HVAC unit to change the temperature and direction of airflow. The HVAC control module uses CAN bus signals from many sensors around the car, the AC switches on the dash, and the sensors within the actuators to command the actuators to the required positions to deliver the requested temperature and airflow. However, the HVAC control module can sometimes forget the actuator's position settings if the battery has gone flat or has been replaced. This power loss could impact the system's operation and trigger diagnostic codes. In many cases, performing a HVAC relearn procedure might be all that's required to fix this situation. These HVAC actuators have reduction gearboxes that have been known to strip gears, resulting in incorrect temperature and airflow, diagnostic codes, and producing grinding noises from under the dashboard. If this is the case, a new actuator may be required. Other issues could stem from foreign objects jamming or breaking the HVAC unit's doors or flaps. One common point of failure is a broken air inlet recirculation door, which will set a fault code and requires the door to be replaced to fix the problem. For diagnostic information, HVAC relearn procedures and component replacement steps for the VE Commodore HVAC system, see the December 2021 issue of VACC's Tech Talk magazine. Log on to VACC Motor Tech or call VACC Motor Tech's Tech Advisory Service.